I really don't understand Megan Rapino. For years now, all she's really been about is her hatred of America. Now, she doesn't come out and say that, of course. You have to look at someone's actions, not their words, to determine their true intent. Back in 2019, Megan Rapino told the Washington Post that she was no longer going to sing the national anthem before soccer matches and that she would probably never sing it again. Does that sound like someone who loves their country to you? She also led the U.S. women's team into jumping on the bandwagon of not visiting the White House when Donald Trump was in office. Megan Rapino considers herself to be a leader, but really... She just follows along. She capitalized and built her career by politically protesting at soccer games and being disrespectful to the presidency. She saw what it did for the career of Colin Kaepernick, whose NFL career was on the decline rapidly when he started kneeling for the national anthem back in 2016. Colin Kaepernick starts politically protesting. The media builds him into a megastar and a martyr And now he has paid millions of dollars a year by Nike and other companies to essentially do nothing. Megan Rapinoe saw this and decided that she was going to be the female version of Colin Kaepernick. And it worked. Megan Rapinoe is a superstar now. Uh, A year or two ago, very, very few people had even heard of Megan Rapinoe. They won the World Cup in 2019. It was barely a blip on the mainstream radar. Megan Rapinoe actually started politically protesting back in 2016 and continued to do so over the next three or four years. She didn't become a superstar until she refused publicly to go to the White House after winning the World Cup in 2019. You guys know how much the media hated Donald Trump. And the media jumped all over this story the leader of the women's national team, refusing to visit the president. Suddenly, Megan Rapinoe is a celebrity overnight. And ever since then, it's been onwards and upwards. When you think about it, what a great country, right? You guys tell me, another country in the world where you can build a multi-million dollar career by tearing down and demonizing your country. Can you do that in China? North Korea, Russia, go over to China and publicly ridicule the government. Chinese athlete who criticized the overbearing CCP mysteriously dies after head falls off his shoulders. Let the Russian national team win the World Cup or a gold medal at the Olympics and refuse publicly to visit Vladimir Putin. Russian soccer team dies after entire team comes down with a mysterious case of the mumps. It's not like that here in America, where you can become rich and famous by denigrating the national anthem and disrespecting the presidency. It's strange. Supposedly, Megan Rapinoe has no love for America, but there she is Monday night at the Met Gala, wearing a red, white, and blue ensemble looking every bit the American patriot that she is not. If you didn't know any better, you would think Megan Rapinoe was showing support for her country. And I'll admit, the outfit she was wearing did look good, if you're into women dressing like dudes. Seriously, though, at least Megan Rapinoe dressed somewhat normal. She didn't go the route of Naomi Osaka and look like a damn peacock. She didn't copy Russell Westbrook wear a damn dress that your great-grandmother wore back in the 1940s. But it didn't take long for everything with Megan Rapinoe to make sense. What is America's motto? It's written on every dollar bill. I believe it's even stamped on coins, too. I could be wrong. I rarely spend change, but I'm pretty sure this motto is on coins, too. The motto, of course, is In God We Trust. Now, I don't know the religious beliefs of Megan Rapinoe. She has stated that she grew up in a Christian home. She may believe in God. She may be an atheist. I don't know or care. It's none of my business. But if I were to base my opinion on the religious beliefs of Megan Rapinoe off what she was sporting the other night, I would say Megan Rapinoe belongs to the gay religion. Did you know gay was a religion now? Yeah, me either. Didn't know that. Now, I'm over-exaggerating, of course, but for real, for real. 
Megan Rapinoe was showing off a red, white, and blue wallet Monday night that was inscribed with In Gay We Trust. In Gay We Trust. What does that even mean? When Megan Rapinoe prays at night, does she pray to gay? Before she takes the field for a soccer match, does she pray to gay that she will remain healthy and walk off the field the same way she walked on it? If she marries Sue Bird and they're standing in front of the gay pastor saying their vows, does the pastor say in front of gay and your family and friends, I now pronounce you wife and wife, you may kiss the bride? Obviously, Megan Rapino doing this the other night was just another ploy for media attention. And it worked. The media jumped all over this. Every mainstream media outlet covered this story. The Daily Mail even shared a video of Megan Rapino playing the hero. Julia Garner, the actress on Ozark, was denied entry into Rihanna's after party. Megan Rapino used her celebrity status to get Julia Garner and three of her friends into the party. That is how influential Megan Rapino has become in celebrity circles. She is more famous than an actress on one of the biggest shows on Netflix. Being woke pays, and Megan Rapino has taken full advantage. This is the same woman who just last year was poor mouthing, whining and complaining that female athletes aren't paid equally to male athletes. Tickets to the Met Gala were $30,000 a piece. Megan Rapino is now worth $3 million. She has played soccer professionally since 2009. For 10 years, she was unknown. She gets into a Twitter war with Donald Trump, refuses to go to the White House. Suddenly, Megan Rapino is a millionaire. Endorsement deals with Nike, Procter & Gamble, Body Armor, Hulu. She had an endorsement deal with Subway. They eventually had to pull the ads featuring Megan Rapino because they had so much backlash from customers and franchise owners. Last year, Time Magazine named Megan Rapino one of the most influential people in the world. 10 years of professional soccer, an appearance in the Olympics, two World Cups before 2019. No one knew who she was. She was unknown. Being woke pays. Since she has been active in demonizing her country, Megan Rapinoe, like I said, has become a millionaire. As much as she hates Donald Trump, she should be thanking him. He made her famous. And that is one of Donald Trump's weaknesses, to be honest with you. He cannot stand to be publicly slighted. If he had just taken Megan Rapinoe's slight on the chin, not made a big deal about it, she may still be unknown. But Donald Trump could not put the phone down. He ended up gifting Megan Rapino a lucrative career. And to her credit, she has taken full advantage of it. She capitalized on it. She also started a trend. Now we have all kinds of athletes trying to get rich and famous by being activists. Gwen Berry, that monster looking broad with the green and purple hair, uh, Raven Saunders. The Tokyo Olympics were littered with Megan Rapino wannabes. Anyway, time to let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts on Megan Rapino and the Met Gala. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.